Hi everyone, this is Mihao here. Uh, this week we're rolling in some significant uh, enhancements into production and I wanted to give you a heads up on, on something that you'll notice and that will affect you if you're using the Insight client with the mobile phone applications. So what you have today is uh, you have this functionality where if you want this content on, on your mobile phone, you go to the Fab button, you go to Share to Mobile and you get this dialog box where you specify this uh, sampling frequency and decimal points and security settings. And you also have this section in the uh, menu around managing your report security and report groups. Now, as of this week, uh, Tuesday, as of Tuesday this week, you will notice some significant changes to this functionality. First of all, the share to mobile option is no longer available on the fab. And the reason for it is that you simply don't need it. Uh, we are significantly improving the integration with our uh, native applications and the, the content will simply work uh, will simply work automatically. You don't have to do anything. So what I've got here to, to demonstrate how this is going to work is I've got some uh, I've got some temperature values for USA. So I'm going to save this as UA, USA temp 1. Uh, there we go. USA temp 1. Haven't saved this before. This is completely new content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my uh, my mobile phone. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm sharing my Android phone screen. So all I did was I saved my content in Insight and I'm going to pull down my screen to, to refresh the list of reports. So basically this integration is just going to work seamlessly. So USA. It's finished refreshing. I do a search for my report and there it is, USA Temp 1. So I'm going to click on this report and um, I no longer have to, to specify those settings that I previously had to worry about, like the sampling frequency, the decimal points, the, the time period. This integration will now work that out automatically. So you can see, there it is, ready to go. I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate how this is going to really, you'll really notice a difference if you're using longer time periods. So let me change my content so that I'm looking at the last two months worth of data. There we go, last two months. So I've changed that. I'm going to save my changes. There we go, save the changes, commit them. There we go, there's the toast notification. I'm going to pull up my, my Android screen again and I'm going to refresh I'm simply going to refresh this report definition and my phone is going to go off into the server and get the latest content definition. And what you'll find here is that the time period has been automatically worked out for you. You have all the data that you need. You don't have to wait for two months for your, for your mobile phone report to be populated. It's there instantaneously. And, um, and you'll notice a couple of additional goodies here. If I click on Chicago temperature, you will notice that my trend line is uh, also including this minimum and maximum channel to compensate for the, the sampling frequency that we're using to display two months worth of data here in this small screen area. Okay, so you're not losing precisions as you're navigating this. And one, one huge bonus that you, will, that you will notice instantly is if you set an alert on Chicago temperature, Previously, if your sampling frequency was a day, you had to wait 24 hours before that alert got evaluated. So the dif difference now is that it doesn't matter how long your time window is. If it's two months or a year, it doesn't matter. Your, uh, all your alerts will be evaluated every minute. So at most, you'll wait for a minute to get notified of a high temperature alert. Okay, and uh, look, uh, just the final thing to point out here. Hope, you, hope you're getting excited about these changes already. But look, uh, just one final thing to point out is that the, the report configuration settings, the security settings are no longer here. And that's basically because you, you won't need them. The security on your mobile phone app is going to, to follow exactly the security of your content. So whatever you do with your security settings in, in Insight, whether it's private or team and which team it's shared with, your mobile phone will follow exactly the same security settings. So as you can see, uh, integration is becoming more seamless. Uh, it, you don't have to worry about the details of how to set it up and it just works. So hope you enjoy the changes this week. Thank you.